So my next book is Troublemaker by Leah Remini. Remini? Remini? It's probably not Remini. Leah Remini? I don't know. I'm trying not to read other people's reviews or even really read about these books or anything like that on Wikipedia. So far I haven't. And um, I'd like to stick to that policy. Um, but I also don't want to look like an idiot. But I just want this to be, you know, fresh. So this book, Troublemaker, it replaced uh, Killing Reagan as the nonfiction bestseller on the New York Times bestseller list for, I would say the week of November 22nd. Anyway, it's the current bestseller. It's been two weeks in a row now. And um, she, I think, is probably most famous for, I'm sure you recognize her face. I mean, she was um, the wife on King of Queens, which was on TV for nine years, apparently. I didn't realize it was on there that long. It's a biography, but it is mainly about her escape from Scientology, which, Straight up, Scientology is crazy bad. Scientology, I think, is evil, and so I guess that would make me an SP, a suppressive person. Uh, one of the bajillion uh, acronyms Scientology have, it's like worse than a major corporation. They have so many acronyms, like I couldn't even keep up with them inside of the story almost. I mean, she defines them like COB and ABC and XYZ and just all of this crazy talk. And so it's almost like they're speaking a little bit in code. And I think that they, I think L. Ron Hubbard, who was a science fiction author that invented this religion uh, to, you know, basically take advantage of people financially, um, it creates this sort of secret language that only people inside know. And I think that that, um, you know, helps to foster this us versus them mentality. Uh, but she grew up in the church. Um, she had, I would say, a moderately tough life. Uh, and she's from New York, uh, New York City. And, um, you know, her mom uh, had a couple, you know, just didn't always date the best guys, unfortunately. And so they wound up in Clearwater, Florida, which is like, the mecca of Scientology and um, you know I, I used to live in Tampa Bay and I think I drove by this one of these buildings before actually um, there were a lot of Scientologists in Tampa Bay it was very weird um, and Scientologists I think that they they really like celebrities uh, and they really like young people that don't know any better that they can take advantage of um, they don't care about formal education uh, so unlike in Leah's case, you know, she got an eighth grade education and then as she became a part of Scientology, the only thing that, and they took over their lives pretty much, I mean, they really do. Uh, the only thing that they cared about was for her to, to learn as much as she could about Scientology. I like Leah. Leah? Leah? Ooh. I like this actress, Leah. I'll just go with Leah. I like her personality. Um, you know, she had someone help her co-write this book. Uh, what's her name? I need to highlight these people because I'll probably be a ghostwriter someday for all I know. I already have done that. Well. Okay, so, I mean, I always wonder what these celebrity books, you know, even like Bill O'Reilly's book, who he did credit, um, I need to say this guy's name, Martin Dugard. Dugard? Martin Dugard helped him co-write this. Um... You know, but Bill O'Reilly is an incredibly educated person, and as much as I like Leah and as talented as she is, she freely admits repeatedly in this book that she's not formally educated. So I do wonder how much of it was her sort of dictating her experience, because it feels very much in her own words. Um, not that I know her personally, but anyway, I really liked her personality, uh, the personality that came across in this this uh, book, um, little moments where she's, she'll say things like, oh, this guy is, is so fucked up, he's perfect for me. And um, I have had that 
thought go through my mind before. Um, she's very relatable. Um, she just feels like she's always like feeling like an outsider. Um, even though in some ways she's very much an insider. You know, both in the Holly world, Holly world, Hollywood realm, where you know she she can name drop a ton of names, and I think her own name is worth dropping at this point, really. So. Uh, she worked on a pilot with Halle Berry and Tony Danza. I guess it was a spinoff of Who's the Boss, I think. Ooh. And um, what else was she? When she was in Hollywood going for roles, um, she, she met Jennifer Aniston. And um, a lot of people were trying to get on Friends, apparently, and, and didn't make the cut. But uh, she did get her big break with King of Queens. Um, she also mentions that she's friends with Jennifer Lopez, which I, uh, I like a lot of the people I just mentioned. I like Jennifer Lopez. I think this book is worth reading. It's not very long and there's some juicy gossip in here. The Hollywood stuff is kind of interesting. I've never really read a book like this before. Um, I think like, but to me, the most interesting thing really is, is definitely the way that she rips apart uh, Scientology. And it, for her, it's not even so much challenging some of the crazy alien stuff that they believe in. You know, it's more about her criticizing the hypocrisy within the church um, and just exposing really more of the financial abuse that is really prevalent in the church. Um, and she really insinuates that Tom Cruise is a de facto church leader if not the most important person in Scientology. She has spent a ton of money uh, trying to attain the upper levels uh, of information, which is what they do. They force you to pay uh, obscene amounts of money to, to learn information that's really not that useful. And I think a lot of people, I heard this somewhere, if it was on the news or something, I don't know. But people, they fall into, and this is true of a lot of religions and I think commitments in life that people make in general, marriages, bad marriages, all kinds of stuff. People fall into a sort of investment trap. Uh, when you spend so much of your life, so much energy, so much money, or all of the above, into something you don't want to feel that what you've done is a bad investment and so even if you kind of know that it's not right, you're like, well, geez, did I just throw my whole life away? Does my life have any meaning now? Um, and I think that that's really hard for people. So instead of admitting to themselves, like, yeah, I spent a million dollars on Scientology and I made $50,000 a year and now I have debt for the rest of my life and I was wrong. I mean, that takes a pretty, strong person and, and she points out that she was fortunate literally enough to ha be able to have afforded a lot of the craziness that they put her through um i mean damn what it is a crazy cult um there's so much information online about how crazy they are one of the most interesting parts of the story was the tom cruise's wedding uh chapter so she um she was invited to Tom Cruise's wedding, um, you know, and a lot of the Scientologists were, and, um, you know, people like Will Smith, and what they wanted, the church wanted Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony, who were together at the time, to become Scientologists. So they had Leah invite Jennifer Lopez to come to this wedding and just everything about it was strange and really the events of the wedding are what eventually lead to her leaving the church because um tom cruise is crazy i'll just say that at, at many different points jennifer lopez had to insist to these weird scientologist facilitators of this wedding that um hey uh my friend is gonna sit with me i don't care what you have in mind or where you want her to sit it's very weird, very weird. weird, weird, weird stuff. I applaud her bravery. I think it is important for people to speak out against Scientology. Uh, and I heard that it's kind of on the wane, uh, that it's dying out, that, you know, I think they claim that they have like 10 million members, but 
I've heard it's it's really it's never gotten even over a million and that I know they're in the, I think they're in the tens of thousands now and their their membership is their membership is dwindling fortunately and um, I liked it I liked uh, Troublemaker and uh, I can see why it's a bestseller you know lots of juicy Hollywood gossip easy read not too long. Um, Scientology is crazy. What else can I say? So I'm. Thank you for watching. I'm glad that. Uh, I'm glad that I know for sure you're enjoying these videos. This is like something a Scientologist might say. <laughs>